he gets a full presentation of everything that's out there. So we introduce them to, we show them like all the Facebook marketing we do, we show them what we want to do with MySpace, and then we introduce them to Twitter, and he loved it. And started Twittering and just enjoying it. He, that's what he latched onto. That's how, that's the technology that he, you know, embraced to put himself out there. Now every artist is different. They'll come in and say, no, we really want to devote all of our time on our website, and that's where we want all of our ticket pre-sales to go up, and this is where we want all of our videos to, you know, we want our artist websites to be our environment. Mm -hmm. So every artist is going to come in with a very unique expression of how they use the technology. So I feel I'm talking about the experience of them as a band, and also talking to them about the experience of the music itself, you know? Um, so I don't feel like I'm never talking about it. I feel that there's a lot of distraction because there's always something new, which is the challenge, I guess, you know, that we are faced with. But I feel like when you're talking about the experience of a rollout and an album and you're listening to the music and when, you know, Kid Rock comes in and says, you know, I don't want my record cut apart. Like, okay, so like, what else are we going to do? So we sat down and totally talked about traditional marketing and how we're going to make it special and pricing and putting an extra DVD with it. And like, we respond to the artist's vision and what the, what the album's all about. And we do talk about the music all the time. So technology serves that. 